I think it was probably about September, uh, we heard that uh, uh, the Hungarian-Austrian border uh, was starting to um, open up unofficially. A lot of East Germans were uh, sitting out in the West German embassy in, uh, in uh, Budapest. So I flew out to, uh, to uh, Vienna and took a car and drove uh, into, uh, into Hungary uh, along a place called Lake Balaton where there was um, a Red Cross facility. I think mean, you know, here we are, 1989, 2016, and we've got the same story running, except the story running now is in spades. Um, anyway, um, did you know, smuggled my way into a Red Cross uh, facility, made pictures, got into Budapest, uh, made pictures around the embassy there, um, and, um, and got back. And then the office said, uh, can you get back out there again? I said, yeah, okay, fine. So went back out and, um, and basically sat around the border area. You know, didn't really know what was going on. It was a lot of tension. And after, after Tiananmen and after what happened with Gorbachev in China and then Gorbachev in Glasnost and the whole thing in Eastern Europe, no one really knew, no one really understood what was going on and what, was, what inevitably did happen. So I teamed up with um, a foreign correspondent in Vienna called Ed Steen, Edward Steen, and his lovely daughter, Lisa, uh, who was only 16 and a half at the time, but very, very uh, sharp, took me to the um, Austrian-Hungarian and Austrian-Czechoslovakian border on a river system, and a bridge was blown up in World War II, and we, we, we hovered around the remains of the bridge, uh, railway bridge, and um, sorry, I just think it's starting to fall off. And uh, on the other side of the border, there are uh, Czechoslovakian border guard posts high up, 100 feet high, guards up there with their Kalashnikovs with no binoculars, and me on the other side of the river with, um, with my telephoto lens on a tripod and with a very pretty girl. And they were, I think they were looking at her rather than me. But I did manage to get some decent pictures. And then I think they started getting a bit sort of like, a bit narked with us. And um, then they threw a couple of firecrackers into the river just to scare us off. And you know what? They scared us off. We, we disappeared. I had to rescue uh, Lisa. 